Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 354. Normocytic Normochromic Anemia. Describe how normocytic normochromic anemias are classified. Normocytic normochromic anemias are classified as either non-hemolytic or hemolytic anemias. The hemolytic anemias are then further divided into intrinsic or extrinsic. If it's intrinsic, that means there is a problem within the RBCs itself, and that is itself the reason for hemolysis, whereas extrinsic means that there is some sort of problem outside of the red blood cell itself, and that is what is causing the hemolysis. So it's the extrinsic problem that is causing hemolysis. Hemolytic anemias can also be classified as intravascular or extravascular, depending on the site where the hemolysis is going on. What is intravascular hemolysis? Intravascular hemolysis is when red blood cells are being destroyed inside the bloodstream. Name some of the causes of intravascular hemolysis. Intravascular hemolysis occurs due to paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, and it can also happen with mechanical destruction due to aortic stenosis or prosthetic valve. What are all the findings indicative of intravascular hemolysis? The findings seen with intravascular hemolysis includes decrease in heptaglobin. The reason heptaglobin is decreased is because when there is hemolysis going on, there is going to be a lot of free floating around hemoglobin. So heptaglobin comes around and binds the free hemoglobin and recycles it in the spleen. So therefore, one of the findings of intravascular hemolysis is decrease in heptaglobin. Other findings seen with intravascular hemolysis include increase in lactate dehydrogenase and hemoglobin in the urine. What is extravascular hemolysis? Extravascular hemolysis is when the red blood cells are being destroyed outside of the bloodstream, and extravascular hemolysis commonly goes on in the spleen. What are the causes of extravascular hemolysis? The causes of extravascular hemolysis is anything that will make the shape of the red blood cells look different, and that happens in conditions such as hereditary spirocytosis. So if the shape of the surface area of the red blood cells look different, the macrophages will recognize it and will clear it out via extravascular hemolysis. What are the lab findings seen with extravascular hemolysis? The lab findings seen with extravascular hemolysis is that increase in lactate dehydrogenase, just like in intravascular hemolysis, but in extravascular hemolysis there is also an increase in the unconjugated bilirubin. And this can lead to jaundice. So jaundice plus an increase in LDH is indicative of extravascular hemolysis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.